Okay, so thank you so much for volunteering for this. I, um, I understand from the little back and forth that we had um, about what you wanted to work on that you have you you're waking up in the middle of the night. Yes. And you described it as anxiety. Is that right? Yes. So I wake up and I get this overwhelming sense that something is desperately wrong. And the only that so the emotion I start tapping on immediately, because I don't know what the event is, all I know is I'm just completely overwhelmed is anxiety. Okay. And you said that that seems to help you. It does. It does help me to get back to sleep. Um, even though I don't know this event, and I feel anxious. I'm right here right now. I'm okay is basically the way I kind of go about it. And, you know, every morning I get up and I do my meditation. I seem to be on a good route. I've got a lot of things done during the day. Oh, and I happen to be on vacation too. <laughs> that's the only other little tiny bit is like, I'm not working right now. So that's the odd part to me is that. Um, yeah. And you, and you said something else about the timing besides that you're not working now. It kind of started coincided with you starting to work on yourself, like doing the personal peace process. Yes. So I'm in a small group with other um, tapping professionals. And uh, amongst us, we decided to kind of dive into this. Nothing big. I mean, it wasn't like it was going to be this big thing or anything. And I thought, oh, great. I dusted off my old journal. I tapped on a few things. Some things didn't have any hit whatsoever anymore. Um, and then I started to get really um, this was coinciding with it. I would take my morning walk, my morning hike, which I usually listen to something inspirational when I'm walking. And I was getting really angry. Like, and I got this, like, get off my back and leave me alone. So it was like this, like all these old bugaboos were kind of coming out of the woodwork. And I had attended a Dr. Joe Dispenza progressive workshop and I have really been looking, you know, to the future of things. And all of a sudden now I've got this, I, I really did. I turned around one day and I just said, get off my back. <laughs> the neighbors love me, I'm sure. Because <laughs> I tap while I walk. And <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So all these things are kind of happening all at the same time. Okay. I have a little bit of an echo going on, so I am I'm going to okay, use I have mine too. And see if that doesn't help that. It's not happening on my part, but I'm glad to put mine on too. Shall I? Or does it matter? I'm not getting any echo at all. Okay, now it's gone. So I think that this is fine. Okay. Okay. Um so you said that you were getting angry and can you and so you have no idea what the anger was about. You just felt, you said these things were coming up. What do you mean these things were coming up? What does that mean? So there are things that I've worked on in the past. Um, going to the kind of school that I went to. I've worked many, many times through some of the things that I saw, some of the inequality, some of the, you know, abuse, physical abuse that would happen many, many years ago. I've worked on that. And when I'm thinking about that right now, I'm very, very neutral. But all of a sudden, I'd be walking and something would kind of, you know, come out of the past. Oh, remember Tom Quackabush, you know, this poor kid that got, you know, beaten to a pulp, you know, in front of everybody. Um, and even now, it's that event, to me, is neutral. Okay. Here's what's not neutral. The fact that the, that old stuff comes forward into my present, you know, existence. And it's almost like, and like I said, just go away. Why are you coming up now? Okay. So again, this, and I do, I, I get this sense of anger because I want to move forward. That is my, my biggest goal. When I set my intention before we met, I thought to myself, what is it that, what is the greatest gift that I could get out of this session? And it mm -hmm. would be to 
be able to move forward with a, with a sense of being in present time Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so be able to create you know the next diana what is that what does that mean for you what would it look like for you to be moving forward you feel like you're not moving forward well what what does moving forward look like what would you be doing what would you be yeah what would you be doing that okay. makes you know that, yeah you're moving forward yeah so i would have a sense of not being encumbered I would be able to journal freely on, on the things that I want to accomplish, the things that I want to create, uh, the business that I want to create, um, how I'm going to move forward in the next year. I'm going to be retiring in a year. It's already set up. I already know the date and everything. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a little bit less than a year away. And mm -hmm. I really am moving, for, I want to move forward so that that will come to fruition. Okay. Uh, with, what happens know, when I, you try to journal now? Um, I find five other things to do that are bubble up to the top. Oh, I got to make that phone call. Oh, I got to send in that bill. Okay. Ideally, how often would you be journaling? Um, once in the morning and uh, once later in the afternoon or in the early evening. So twice a day? Twice a day. Okay. If I were to tell you to start that tomorrow, that you're going to be journaling twice a day tomorrow, starting tomorrow, what comes up for you around, around, around that? Okay. I just got very anxious, and my hands immediately started to feel like they were going to start sweating. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. So um, zero to ten on anxious. Uh, eight. Okay. Do you feel that you, besides sweating in your hands, anything else showing up physically? Uh, yeah, my sinuses are starting to get clogged up like I'm going to cry. Okay, let's tap. So, uh, Diana, if I ask you to repeat anything that doesn't sound true, you want to say it in a different way, something else okay. shows up, just correct me, interrupt me. I want to use your words as much as I can. Okay. Got okay. It. So, even though I feel it in my sinuses. Even though I feel it in my sinuses. And my hands start to sweat. And my hands start to sweat. Just feeling anxious. Just feeling anxious. Imagining having to journal twice tomorrow. Imagining having to journal twice tomorrow. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel anxious in my hands and in my sinuses. Even though I feel anxious in my hands and in my sinuses. Just imagining having to journal twice tomorrow. Just imagining having to journal twice tomorrow. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel anxious in my hands and in my sinuses. Even though I feel anxious in my hands and in my sinuses. Just imagining having to journal twice tomorrow. Just imagining having to journal twice tomorrow. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Feeling anxious in my sinuses. 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 And my hands. And my hands. Feeling anxious. Feeling anxious. Feeling anxious. Feeling anxious. Just thinking about journaling tomorrow. Just feeling about journaling tomorrow. Makes me feel anxious. Makes me feel anxious. Makes me feel anxious. Makes me feel anxious. Okay. It feels like homework, and I hate homework. <laughs> this is not about school. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Is it, so thinking about that, that it, that it is homework for you, um, what's the emotion? Is it hate or something else? It is, um, yeah, let's go with hate. Let's go with hate. Okay. Because and, I have homework. Mm -hmm. Yes. And do you still feel it in your sinuses and hands? I feel it in my chest right here. Okay. All right. Even though I, I feel all this hate in my chest. Even though I feel all this hate in my chest. Just imagining having to journal tomorrow. Just imagining having to journal tomorrow. It feels like homework and I hate homework. It feels like homework and I hate homework. 
I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I hate homework. Even though I hate homework. And journaling tomorrow, twice tomorrow is homework. And journaling twice tomorrow is homework. And I hate it. And I hate it. And I feel it in my chest. And I feel it in my chest. I and I feel it also now in my jaw, my chest. And okay. My I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all this hate in my chest and jaw. Even though I feel all this hate in my chest and in my jaw. Just imagining having to journal twice tomorrow. Just imagining having to journal twice tomorrow. It feels like homework. Feels like homework. And I hate homework. And I hate homework. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. It feels like homework and I hate homework. Feels like homework and I hate homework. I hate homework. I hate homework. It feels like homework. Feels like homework. Feeling hate in my chest and in my jaw. Feeling hate in my chest and in my jaw. Feeling hate in my chest and in my jaw. Feeling hate in my chest and in my jaw. Feeling hate in my chest and in my jaw. Feeling hate in my chest and in my jaw. It feels like homework and I hate homework. Feels like homework and I hate homework. I'm going to add something here and I'm not going to do it. And I am not going to do it. I'm not going to do, do it. I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Okay. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Okay. I here, I'm a teacher and I rarely give homework. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. Okay. So, good. Thinking about you journaling tomorrow, twice tomorrow, what comes up for you? Is it still hate? Is it anxious? Where do you feel it? What else is coming up about this? Okay. So, it's reduced in my jaw and I can mm -hmm. still feel it because I feel like that clenching of I'm not going to do it. Right. Um, my chest feels more clear. Mm -hmm. I, it's back in my hands again, almost like, ooh, you know, I want to. Uh, okay. One of these. And it definitely had, and now there's this added thing that came up to it about, I'm not going to do it. It's because I won't do it for you. Now, this doesn't mean you <laughs> personally. But it, me, it is going back to a time when I was very angry. Um, I wasn't getting maybe any recognition. I was just a person in the classroom. And I started to realize that whether I did it or I didn't do it, that there was, there was no gain to me personally, okay. you know, and so I think that, and I, I remember feeling very angry about it, that it was, why am I doing this? And I'm not, but okay. I'm not going to do it for you is what's okay. definitely okay. coming up. I want you to tell me about one of those events or make up one of the events that could have happened around this thing where you didn't get any gain anyway. Okay. Uh, fifth grade classroom, um, the teachers walking through the aisles and there was six aisles with 10 kids in each one. So there were 60 kids in our classroom. And um, she was checking to see, you know, if you did your homework, which I gave it some half-assed, uh, you know, uh, effort just to get it done. And um, I remember when she walked by, I just thought I, I could have done better and there's, there's no reason to. So um, I, I don't remember her name. It was, uh, let's just say it was Mrs. Mrs. A. I, I don't know. That's, I fine. Her name. That's fine. So thinking about that event or just making up one time that it happened where she just walked by, she was just checking to make sure everyone did, her, did their homework. What is the emotion that comes up for you right now? Um, I feel defeated. I, I, okay. and that's, and that's an honest, I don't know why. I just, I feel defeated. Do you feel that anywhere in your body? Yeah, it's back in my sinuses like I want to cry. Okay. And zero to ten? Nine. Okay. Even though I feel defeated? Even though I feel defeated. And I feel it in my sinuses? 
and I feel it in my sinuses. The teacher in fifth grade is checking to make sure everyone did their homework. The teacher in fifth grade is checking to make sure everyone did their homework. No reason for me to do better. There's no reason for me to do better. There's no gain. There's no gain. And I feel defeated. And I feel defeated. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel defeated. Even though I feel defeated. And I feel it in my sinuses. And I feel it in my sinuses. The fifth grade teacher is checking to see that we all did the homework. The fifth grade teacher is checking to see that we all did our homework. And I know I could have done better. And I know I could have, could have done better. But there's no reason for me to do better. There's no reason for me to do better. There's no gain. There is no gain. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel defeated. Even though I feel defeated. And I feel it in my sinuses. I feel it in my sinuses. She's checking to see that we did our homework. She's checking to see we did our homework. And I know I could have done better. And I know I could have done better. But there's no reason to. There's no reason to. There's no gain. There is no gain. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Feeling defeated. 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 There's no reason to do better. There's no reason to do better. There's no gain. There is no gain. And I'm feeling defeated. And I'm feeling defeated. I'm feeling defeated. I'm feeling defeated. Okay. <laughs> That's always amazing to me. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep tapping. <laughs> yes, yes, keep tapping. There is this were, connected to something else? This is. It, it's, exact, it's the same thing, but I think I'm getting to the bottom of it. There were, because there were 60 kids in our class, the kids that stood out were the ones who were really special and the ones who couldn't deal, that needed to mm -hmm. be disciplined. So, mm -hmm. you know, this, you know, hierarchy, there were, you know, the certain kids and they would get, oh my gosh, you know, the praise constantly being used for examples and that type of thing. And, the, and I know this is no different than many other classrooms. And then on the other spectrum were kids that just, they couldn't deal with it. So, you know, again, they just kind of stood out as behavior issues, behavior problems. Mm -hmm. And my perception right now is that I was invisible, that I just, I was no one special and I certainly wasn't going to get the shit beat out of me. So I wasn't going to go there. <laughs> right. And I got, you know, so this no praise probably is a big thing, you know, just why bother? There's nothing in it for me. Okay. okay. All right. I'm going to have you stick to that event that we were working on or if yep. a different one shows up. Mm -hmm. let's let's go there but okay this feeling that I'm invisible why bother um, I was no one special how intense is that um, about a six okay and do you feel it anywhere in your body same places you know bit of sinuses? In, my, uh, bit in my sinuses mm -hmm. okay even though I feel invisible even though I feel invisible. The fifth grade teacher is checking to see that you did the homework. Fifth grade teacher is checking to see that we did the homework. I was no one special. I was no one special. So why bother? So why bother? And I feel it in my sinuses and hands. And I feel it in my sinuses and in my hands. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel invisible. Even though I feel invisible. The fifth grade teacher is checking to see that we did the homework. The fifth grade teacher is checking to see that we did the homework. I was no one special. I was no one special. I was invisible. I was invisible. Why bother? Why bother? I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel it in my sinuses and in my hands. Even though I feel it in my sinuses and in my hands. 
The fifth grade teacher is checking to see that we did the homework. The fifth grade teacher is checking to see if we did the homework. But I was invisible. But I was invisible. Why bother? Why bother? I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. I was invisible. I was invisible. I was no one special. I was no one special. So why bother? So why bother? I feel it in my hands and in my jaw. I feel it in my hands and in my jaw. Sorry, sinuses. Jaw is there too, but sinuses, okay. absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Fifth grade teacher is checking to see that we did homework. Fifth grade teacher is checking to see if we did homework. And I was invisible. I was invisible. I was no one special. I was no one special. <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's it. All right. So thinking about that now, the fifth grade teacher is checking on your homework. She's just passing by. What are you feeling? She's just passing by. Just you know, passing by. I'm invisible. I'm you know, it doesn't matter if I did it or if I didn't do it. It seems it's just um, okay. that uh, I, it's more like a two. Okay. And do you still feel it anywhere in your body? Yeah, I, I, I do. I feel it in my sinus. Cause I, 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 I think it's sad. It's, I really latched onto that. Okay. And is it still, a, it's when you say it's sad, is the sadness still a two? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I may do some reframing. If I if I throw something out at you that doesn't land, let me know. Say no, that's not true. Okay. All right. So even though I still feel some sadness. Even though I still feel some sadness. The fifth grade teacher is checking to see that we did the homework. The fifth grade teacher is checking to see if we did the homework. And she's just passing through. She's just passing through. And I'm invisible. And I'm invisible. I know I, I, I don't allow for anyone to be invisible in my classes. I know I don't allow for anyone to be invisible in my classes. In fact, I've learned from that. In fact, I've learned from that. I'm a better teacher as a result of what I went through. I am a better teacher as a result of what I went through. Good. Even though the fifth grade teacher is just checking to see that we did the homework. Even though the fifth grade teacher is just checking to see if we did the homework. And I feel this sadness. And I feel this sadness. There's a part of me that knows that I'm a better teacher as a result of that. There's a part of me that knows I'm a better teacher as a result of that. Even though I was invisible. Even though I was invisible. And I feel this sadness. And I feel this sadness. The fifth grade teacher is just passing through. The fifth grade teacher is just passing through. I know that I don't just pass through. I know that I don't just pass through. No one in my classroom is invisible. No one in my classroom is invisible. I care about every single one. I care about every single one. I do. I care about every single one. I do. I care about every single one. And maybe this experience has made me a better teacher. And maybe this experience has made me a better teacher. I know it's made me a better teacher. I know it's made me a better teacher. No one's invisible in my classroom. No one's invisible in my classroom. I care about every single one. I care about every single one. And I really don't care that much about homework. <laughs> I really don't care that much about homework. <laughs> In fact, I rarely ever send some homework. <laughs> I didn't quite hear that, but yeah, I learned a yes. lesson a long time ago about giving homework. <laughs> yeah, yep. And so I was invisible then. I was invisible then. But I certainly don't allow anyone to be invisible now. But I certainly don't allow anyone to be invisible now. That's like tap with them. <laughs> oh, man. All right. How is that feeling? Uh, really good. Really, really good. Yeah. Okay. I, um, there, if anything is left and I, and there's, you know, like little ribbons maybe of, of something there and they're just really more like memories, which is, it's nice. I don't feel a real sense about it, but the part about not being anyone special somehow is still resonating and okay. that feels like a like a strong five 
Okay. And so do you have any evidence that you weren't special? Like any particular event that comes up where it was very clear that you weren't special? Uh, in school, in that class, or Where, in uh, whatever yeah. shows up, yeah. something out. Okay, good. Um, I, I, okay, I, I just attended uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza's workshop, and I, I just loved it. And <clears throat> for the last month, I've been doing some meditations that we did. And with the promise, you know, that something was going to happen. This is something fantastic. And somehow when I, every single day at the end of the day, when, um, you know, I'm kind of reviewing in my head, just uh, you know, sometimes my grateful list or something like that, something comes up about, well, nothing happened again. You're, you know, and it does. It's like, you're no one special. You know, things like that. Think, special things don't happen to you. It might be kind of a, second comment right behind that other people might be able to do it but you can't no okay let's tap on this even though it's global and see if something pops up related to this all right even though nothing happened again even though nothing happened again that happens at the end of my day it happens at the end of my day i'm looking back i'm looking back special things did not happen Special things did not happen. They happen to other people. They happen to other people. They don't happen to me. They don't happen to me. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I go to the end of the day. Even though I go to the end of the day. And I'm thinking nothing happened again. And I'm thinking nothing happened again. Special things don't happen to me. Special things don't happen to me. They happen to other people. They happen to other people. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though nothing happened again. Even though nothing happened again. Special things happen to other people. Special things happen to other people. They don't happen to me. They don't happen to me. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Special things don't happen to me. Special things don't happen to me. They happen to other people. They happen to other people. They don't happen to me. They don't happen to me. Special things didn't happen. Special things didn't happen. They don't happen when I'm reviewing the at the end of my day. They don't happen when I'm reviewing at the end of my day. Nothing special happened to me. Nothing special happened to me. Special things happen to other people, but not to me. Special things happen to other people, but not to me. So... Yeah, so I wake up in the middle of the night, and this anxiety bubbles up. And one of the things that comes up for me is something like, this happened to you, this terrible thing happened to you, so... You're not special. Okay. So I want you to tap. And so that's the thought that comes up in yeah. the middle of the night. Yeah. It's, do, you have, do you have any sense of what that is? No. But if I could picture it, it would be the top knob mm -hmm. of some kind of a big like walking stick or something like that. That's what it feels like. Almost like that is coming up, being like pointed at me somehow. Okay. I, so if you were to make up what happened, does it, it actually involve a literal walking stick? That's what it feels like. Okay. Okay. So let's do, um, let's do some sneaking up on it. Okay. Um, all right, and guess at your level of intensity for that event. When I wake up at night, just, just, just guessing. Strong. Just guessing. An eight. An eight. Okay. All right. So we're going to say, even though, even though there is this event that happened, 
there's this event that happened. That had to do with a walking stick. That had to do with a walking stick. With the top of a walking stick. The top knob of a walking stick. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And it's black. Okay. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though um, there's this event. Even though there's this event. That happened with the top knob of a walking stick. That happened with the top knob of a walking stick. And it's black. And it's black. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though there's this event that happened with a black walking stick. Even though there's this event that happened with a black walking stick. The, t the top of a black walking stick. Mm -hmm. The top knob of a black walking stick. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. There's a black walking stick. There's a black walking stick. With a knob on it. With a knob on it. And there's an event that involved that. And there's an event that involved that. This event that, Im that involved a black walking stick. This event that involved a black walking stick. With a knob on it. With a knob on it. The top knob of a black walking stick. The top knob of a black walking stick. This event that happened with the black knob of a walking stick. This event that happened with a black knob of a black walking stick. Okay. This event that happened with it, the top knob of a black walking stick. This event that happened with the top knob of a black walking stick. This event that happened with the top knob of a black walking stick. This event that happened with the top knob of a black walking stick. This event that happened with the black knob top of a walking stick. This event that happened with the top knob of a black walking stick. This event that happened with the top knob of a black walking stick. This event that happened with the top knob of a black walking stick. Okay. I want you to guess at your level of intensity. A four. Okay. All right. Anything else might be related to it? Do you think it involved another person? It sounds weird, but could it, could it have been a nightmare or a dream? Sure. I've never, okay, then I'm going to say it's a nightmare. Okay. All right, so even though there's this nightmare. Even though there's this nightmare. That involved a black walking stick. That involved a black walking stick. And the top knob of it. And the top knob of it. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though there's this nightmare. Even though there's this nightmare. That involved the top knob of a black walking stick. That involved the top knob of a black walking stick. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though there's this nightmare. Even though there's this nightmare. That involved the top knob of a black walking stick. That involved the black knob, top knob of a black walking stick. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. This nightmare. This nightmare. Involving the top knob of a black walking stick. That involved a top knob of a black walking stick. This nightmare. This nightmare. That involved a to top knob of a black walking stick. That involved a top knob of a black walking stick. This nightmare. This nightmare. That involved the top knob of a black walking stick. That involved the black top knob of a black walking stick. This nightmare. This nightmare. That involved a black walking stick. That involved a black walking stick. The top knob of this walking stick. The top knob of this walking stick. Uh, you know what it is? <gasps> oh. All right. Tap. Okay. Um, you know, in okay, it, it, um, a Walt Disney movie, Sleeping Beauty. You know Maleficent? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. I must have been pretty young, and it scared the hell out of me. And I think that's what it was. Somehow this mixture of not being anybody special, not doing maybe my homework a few times, maybe getting in trouble, that's what it is. It's I had this horrific dream in the middle of the night, mm -hmm. a kid under 10 years old, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, I 
uh, that's what it was. She was holding something. Wasn't she holding something? <laughs> something for right. Her, right. Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. And just thinking about that, that, wow. that dream or the part of the movie, are you feeling anything around it? Uh, no, actually, I feel kind of relieved now. Okay. That's okay. kind of what it was. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but it was very real at the time. But right here, right now, nothing. Okay. So why don't you come up with an event that could have happened where you could have gotten in trouble by not doing your homework? It could have been fifth grade. Hmm. Um, uh, let's do, let's do a college, a college term paper. Okay. Uh, you, um, and I remember, um, I, I, I'm feeling very frustrated because I, I knew what I was turning in was not, it wasn't complete. It okay. Was, it, it, it was the due date. It wasn't complete. I just turned it in and um, I knew it was going to get a good grade on it. But I, okay. I, I, I felt resigned. I, right now I, I, I'm getting this feeling like, oh, well, you know what? <laughs> there will be others or something. Okay. And so thinking about that, are you feeling resi more resigned? Is it the grade that you got after you got it back? What are you focusing on? This is a class where I, I wanted to do well and I wasn't doing very well. It was a I don't know, film class of some sort. And I, I really wanted to do well in it. And I just, I don't know, I was missing the mark. I, I, and now I'm getting this feeling about being overwhelmed. So I probably had a lot of a lot on my plate at the time and whatnot. And I just, couldn't quite get there, you know, in terms how do you, of... How do you know that you didn't do well in the class? Uh, I ended up getting a C in the class. And I wanted, okay. to, I wanted, I did want to do better, but I just, you know what, I didn't have it in me. Okay. So turning in that paper is uh, representing that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And so thinking about turning in that paper and you know it wasn't ready, but it was the due date and it had to be turned in. What are you feeling right now? I'm feeling disappointed. Okay. Zero to ten. Um, seven. Do you feel that anywhere in your body? Yeah, my jaw again. Okay. Even though I feel disappointment in my jaw. Even though I feel disappointment in my jaw. Oh, well. Oh, well. I've got to turn in the term paper. I've got to turn in the term paper. It's the due date. It's the due date. And I knew that uh, what I was turning in was not great. I knew what I was turning in wasn't great. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel disappointed in my jaw. Even though I feel disappointed in my jaw. Um, it's the due date. It's the due date. I have to turn it in. I have to turn it in. And I knew what I was turning in wasn't great. And I knew what I was turning in wasn't great. And I really wanted to do well in that class. And I really did want to do well in that class. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all this disappointment in my jaw. Even though I feel all this disappointment in my jaw. Just thinking about the due date that turn paper and that turn paper. Just thinking about the due date and the term paper. I knew what I was turning in wasn't great. I knew what I was turning in wasn't great. And I really wanted to do well in that class. And I really wanted to do well in that class. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. This disappointment in my jaw. 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 I knew what I was turning in wasn't great. I knew what I was turning in wasn't great. And I really wanted to do well in that class. And I really wanted to do well in that class. This disappointment in my jaw. This disappointment in my jaw. This, this disappointment in my jaw. This disappointment in my jaw. <laughs> His name was Mr. Clark. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay. So thinking about that, mm -hmm. you turned in the term paper because it was due, but you knew what you were turning in wasn't great. Level of disappointment now? Um, maybe a one. How do you know it's a one and not a zero? What do you think is left? I, yeah, I feel it at the, my, in my feet for some reason. I feel like um, it's just like this weightiness in my feet. It's still, and it's still disappointment? Yeah. Yeah, I'm disappointed, okay. I'm disappointed in myself. Yeah. All right. Even though I feel disappointed in myself. Even though I feel disappointed in myself. And I feel this weightiness in my feet. And I feel this weightiness in my feet. Turning in that term paper. Turning in this term paper. Because it was due. Because it was due. And I knew what I was turning in wasn't great. And I knew what I was turning in wasn't great. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I still feel this disappointment in myself. Even though I feel, still feel this disappointment in myself. I feel this weightiness in my feet. I feel this weightiness in my feet. That I, what I knew that what I was turning in wasn't great. I know what I was turning in wasn't great. Uh, I was just turning it in because it was due. I was just turning it in because it was due. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this weightiness and disappointment in my feet. Even though I feel this weightiness and disappointment in my feet. I knew what I was turning in wasn't great. I knew what I was turning in wasn't great. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. This disappointment. This disappointment. <clears throat> this disappointment in myself. This disappointment in myself. This disappointment in myself. This disappointment in myself. This weightiness in my feet. This weightiness in my feet. Feeling disappointment in myself. Feeling disappointment in myself. Feeling disappointment in myself. Feeling disappointment in myself. This weightiness in my feet. This weightiness in my feet. I knew what I was turning in wasn't great. I knew what I was turning in wasn't great. <laughs> I just felt it go right out of my feet. But, okay. Uh, All right. Yeah, so now I'm, I'm, yeah, it's a zero. Okay. Let's go back over where we started with this. Um, so the feeling that you are waking up in the middle of the night you think it had to do with the black walking stick, Malefic Maleficent, and that image, and maybe getting in trouble. Does that feel? Does that feel neutral? Does that feel that it's resolved? Really thinking about it. Yeah, I, I think now that I know what it is, I there's also yeah. almost like a sense of comfort. It's like, oh, that's what that was. Great. But, yeah. And the getting in trouble part that might have been connected that you didn't turn in your homework and you got in trouble for it. Yeah, I it's very neutral. Yeah, it's, okay. it is a zero. Okay. What we really didn't get a lot done with is this idea that at the end of the day you have this feeling that nothing special happened. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We didn't get very far with that. It might be contributing to you waking up. Mm -hmm. um, I think that there might be some stuff that's left to do around that. Mm -hmm. um, what's coming to me is an intuitive hit, but I could be completely wrong, is that, that there's something even around family dynamics that had that happen. So that's what I would explore. Okay. Yeah, okay. There definitely might be something there. Okay. Um, so... Uh, I want you to think about, and it was an interesting connection with the homework and doing your peace procedure does have you doing mm -hmm. something that you could say is homework. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to have you focus now on the idea that you're going to be journaling tomorrow. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? Yeah, it, it, it still feels like a burden because, and, and it's, it's like a four. So it, it feels like a burden. It feels like a four. And mm -hmm. it feels like it's in the back of my head. Back okay. Here. And what's the emotion? 
dread. Okay, and let's take it a step further. Why is it dread? It feels like something that I, I have to do and I don't want to do. Okay. It's, and it, it's like, I don't want to do this. And so let me ask you, why are you doing it? I don't know. <laughs> what do I you think journaling twice a day? Would do? It's having a checklist of, you know, I do it, I do it very naturally in the morning. I, you know, it's something that I do very naturally in the morning, but as the day goes by, there's something about, I know that that would somehow really help me. I really do feel that it would help me um, because I have a pat, I, I have this pattern that I am trying to break of evening and maybe, you know, doing things that, well, let's say just watching a reality show of some sort. It's like, why am I watching this? You know, this mm -hmm. is not doing anything for me. It's not doing anything for my soul. Why don't I just journal? And I, there's something there that's just like, you know, kind of this hit that, because I don't want to, you know, it's almost like being a defiant child. I don't want to. I, you know, I, so it, there's something about that wanting to change because I know the change would be a positive one mm -hmm. and resisting it. So it's, you know what, it's more of a resistance and the resistance feels about a five and I'm feeling it back in my feet again. Like it's like, I'm really planting my feet squarely down and just, no, I'm not going to do it. Okay. So is there, a, is there a better example of this kind of resistance, having your feet down, I won't do it, than just this? Um, um, uh, gosh, it's random, but uh, I used to work in the restaurant industry. Mm -hmm. And um, our... Um, area supervisor wanted me as manager to do something. And uh, it was, it was a big change and there was no reason for it. I had just, I had just put together this program and he wanted, he wanted big, he wanted it changed. And I, and he was making all these suggestions and I remember nodding at him going, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> okay. And, uh, yeah, so that's what it is. Okay. And imagining yourself there and listening to him say that to you, was he what so what was what was what are you focusing on? Is it the way that he's saying it or something he in particular that he's saying? He was making it clear that these the change to this program that I had put together. Yes. Basically if I didn't do it, I wasn't gonna get promoted to the next level. And okay. he wasn't seeing what I was trying to do and he wanted it changed. So, yeah. So it was this, even though okay. there was this whole dangle of being promoted, I wasn't going yes. to do it. Yes. Okay. I wasn't going to do it. And thinking about that moment now, what is the emotion you're feeling? Yeah. Resistance. And, um, uh, I'm, I'm feeling pretty defiant about it, too. I, I mean, I've been feeling it back on my feet again. Okay. So you're at a 10. Um, eight. Okay. Even though I feel all this resistance. Even though I feel all this resistance. I'm feeling defiant. I'm feeling defiant. And I feel it in my feet. And I feel it in my feet. He's making it clear that if I don't do this. Making it clear if I don't do this. I won't get promoted. I won't get promoted. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all of this resistance. Even though I feel all this resistance. I'm feeling defiant. I'm feeling defiant. And I feel it in my feet. And I feel it in my feet. He's making it clear that I won't get promoted. He's making it clear I won't get promoted. Unless I make these changes. Unless I make these changes. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though he's making it clear. Even though he's making it clear. That I get promoted. I didn't. I'm not going to get promoted. If I don't do these changes. 
I don't do these changes. And I feel this resistance. And I feel this resistance. I'm feeling defiant in my feet. I'm feeling defiant in my feet. I deeply and completely accept myself. Deeply and completely accept myself. Feeling defiant. Feeling defiant. Feeling this resistance. Feeling this resistance. He's making it clear I won't get promoted. <laughs> making it clear I won't get promoted. Unless I make these changes. Unless I make these changes. And I'm feeling resistance. And I'm feeling resistance. And I'm feeling defiant. And I'm feeling defiant. Feeling all this resistance and defiance in my feet. Feeling all this resistance and defiance in my feet. He's making it clear that if I don't do this, I'm not going to get promoted. He's making it clear if I don't do this, I'm not going to get promoted. Now, see, I did put everything into <laughs> that program that I put together, and it didn't do anything. <laughs> okay. How do you know it didn't do anything? <laughs> I ended up having to change it anyway. You know, my um, somebody else came, you know, gave me some wise words, and um, I ended up, you know, having to shift these elements of this program that I had put together. Okay. Uh, so uh, what's, what I'm feeling right now is even, even when I do put the effort in, it doesn't pay off. That's exactly what like, I'm feeling right now. And um, Okay. So I'm going to have you tap on the rest of the, that, the, the aspects that had to do with that event, with mm -hmm. that period of time. Mm -hmm. But I want you to think about doing your journal mm -hmm. i'm going to i'm going to journal and does that does that sound true is that connected even when i put in the effort nothing's going to happen yes absolutely yeah absolutely okay wow this i did okay. not expect <laughs> <laughs> okay even though even though and do you still feel it in your feet um, um, yeah, but maybe my right foot. It's not in both my feet anymore. Maybe it's just in my right foot. And is it still resistance? Um, yeah, yeah, resistance okay. is a big deal. All right, even though I feel this resistance. Even though I feel this resistance. Why should I put in the effort? Why should I put in the effort? To journal. Journal. To journal in the evening journal in the evening when I could be when I could be watching a reality show instead when I could be watching a reality show instead I'm gonna put in all this effort I'm gonna put in all this effort and nothing's gonna happen nothing's gonna happen I deeply and completely accept myself I deeply and completely accept myself even though I feel all this resistance even though I feel all this resistance to journaling tomorrow night to journaling tomorrow night I could do it in the morning I could do it in the morning but I, there, may, there might be some part of me that's resistance, that's resisting. Yeah, there might be part of me that's resisting. Doing it at night. Doing it at night. Feeling if I, if I do it, if I put in all this effort, it might not pay off anyway. If I do it and put in all this effort, it might not pay off anyway. Even though um, I feel this resistance in my right foot. Even though I feel this resistance in my right foot. Even when I put in the effort. Even when I put in the effort. Nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. So why bother doing the journal tomorrow night? So why bother doing the journal tomorrow night? I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. All this resistance. All this resistance. This resistance in my right foot. This resistance in my right foot. Even when I do put in the effort. Even when I do put in the effort. Nothing's going to change. Nothing's going to change. Nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. Feeling this resistance in my right foot. Feeling this resistance in my right foot. Why bother? Why bother? Why bother doing that journal tomorrow night? Why bother doing that journal tomorrow night? Ay, ay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How are you feeling about journaling tomorrow night? I don't know what the big deal is. <laughs> is there still resistance? No. no, you can do it. I can do it. 
You know, I, I probably really enjoy it. Gosh, what a concept, you know, okay. something might be enjoyable about it. Okay. All right. So even though there might be some more work to do on this. You know, there might be some more work to do on this. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better. I, f I made that connection about the walking stick. I made that connection about the walking stick. And I can honor the work I've done so far. And I honor the work I've done so far. Even though there might be some more work to do on this. Even though there might be some more work to do on this. I made some interesting connections. I made some interesting connections. Who knew that was all back there? Who knew that was all back there? And I'm feeling better. And I'm feeling better. In fact, I'm ready to journal tomorrow night. I might even journal tonight. <laughs> I might even journal tonight. Look at that. Because <laughs> I know I would enjoy it. Because I know I would enjoy it. And even though there might be some more work to do on this. And even though there might be some more work to do on this. I'm feeling better. I am feeling better. I can put the rest aside. I can put the rest aside. I'm feeling better about journaling. I'm feeling better, better about journaling. How are you feeling about doing your personal peace procedure? Yeah. <laughs> All right, there's more work to do on that. I have more work to do on that. <laughs> but maybe it won't wake me up in the middle of the night. Oh, there you go. It, maybe it won't wake me up in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. And I do enjoy journaling. And I do enjoy journaling. Uh, in fact, I like it more than watching reality TV shows. In fact, I like it more than watching reality TV shows. <laughs> All right. I might really enjoy it. I might really enjoy it. I might even do it tonight. I might even do it tonight. I'm not feeling resistance. I'm not feeling resistance. I know it will be good for me. I know it will be good for me. I know that I'm breaking this habit. I know I'm breaking this habit. I know I'm making these changes. I know I'm making these changes. And now I'm feeling better about it. Now I am feeling better about it. In fact, I know I'm going to enjoy it. In fact, I know I'm going to enjoy it. Good. All right. Good job, <laughs> Diana. <laughs> Thank you, Alina. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you.